Okay, guys. Um, so today we're gonna be learning while loops. Um, so basically, what loops are, it allows you to repeat a block of code multiple times. So, for example, a banking app can loop over all of the bank transactions for to check for specific conditions. So before I do get into the lesson, let me actually show you, or let me actually like reference what the um, reason for loops are. So if you have a huge um, list, let's say a list of every name, okay? And you wanna basically iterate through the entire list trying to find a certain name. So basically control F on uh, your laptop or your PC and you can't do that. You can't do that with without using a loop because you would need to do it a bunch of times. So this is where the, the while loop kind of helps. So a while loop um, statement repeatedly executes a target statement as long as the given condition is true. For example, x it's x equals three, and then while x is greater than zero, then it's gonna print out the an x, and then it's going to uh, minus one from x basically. So. The while loop um, checks for the condition and that evaluates if this is true, then it does it. Um, then checks for the statement again and repeats. So it, it will stop when this condition is false. So the only time when this condition is false is when x is zero, right? So it's gonna iterate through. So let me run this. <clears throat> So let me know why you guys think like how many X's this is gonna print out, okay? And we're gonna see. So here, since it's not in quotes, it's not gonna print out the letter, the X. It prints out the number or the variable that's inside of X, so it's three, two, one. And then, so while, and then you have to have like braces and then don't forget your curly brackets. All right. So let's take another look at this, okay? So the line x equals x minus one is important because without it, the condition runs forever. So let me show you, let me show you what this means, okay? So. So with this, it's gonna print out three to one, but what if we comment it out and run it? It's gonna keep running and running and running and running and running and running and running until your program basically just like crashes. Yeah, it's gonna keep running that. Um, it's gonna keep running this, okay? So. That is basically the reason for this. It's called an iterator or rather it's like a condition that updates your variable so you're not in a continuous loop. All right, so rearrange the code to output the numbers one through five using a while loop. So you first, first you wanna declare what your, um, what your variable is, okay? And then you're gonna put the well, if you put this above here, this isn't declared. This, the num isn't declared right here. Like, we don't know what num is, so you're gonna get an error, okay? And then um, you wanna print out the num, and then you wanna update it. Then, of course, we have the closing brackets. Okay, so. Um, so, another way to basically say this expression is you can say x minus minus, meaning x minus one is the same thing as x minus minus, it just reduces it by one. 
So if you had x minus 2, you couldn't do this because there's nothing that, no shorthand for x minus 2, basically. Okay, so what is the output of this code? So it's 8, and then it minus is 1, minus is 1. Well, I guess, yeah, you could do, so going back to the previous example, you could do this and minus it too, but I think just writing x equals x minus 2 is a lot easier than having a bunch of, like, de decrements. So this is going to be 6. The increment operator, it's basically um, plus plus, so plus plus means just adds one. So this is going to be very useful when we get into for loops, but for for now, um, you declare the variable, you have the while loop here, and then you have a condition that runs until this becomes false, and you keep printing or doing whatever is inside this. For example, this is printing, and then you update the, the condition. So this um, would go from, I believe this would go from 1 to 10, from 1 to 10, let me see, I think this goes from 1 to 10, if I'm not mistaken, yep, 1 to 3, yep, okay, then this is equivalent to x plus 1, we already went over this, some loops require you to increase or decrease the by a different number. For example, let's output the numbers from 0 to 10. So that way you would... So a shorter way to write this is just x plus equals 2. So it's minus equals 2 for subtraction and then times equals for multiplication. So basically whatever operation you're doing and then, uh, and then an equals to basically have that equal. So, so you don't have to write x twice. All right, so let's do this. So x plus 1. So this is 3. Right here is 3. And then times 2, 6, minus 2, 4, 4. All right. Now. You can perform calculations and other operations inside of the loops, okay? So, let me show you the example. So, you have an int sum, you have an int num, and then you have until a number is equal to, is less than or equal to 100. You're going to add that number. You're going to add that number to num or to sum and then you're gonna increment num by one so at the end this prints out Let's see what this prints out at the end yeah so, so this is what this is basically doing is this is gonna take let me let me write it out here so basically what this is doing is you have one right so you have zero first, okay, zero. Then you can iterate the through through the loop. You're gonna add. You're gonna yeah. So you have zero right here. You're gonna add it to sum. So sum is zero right now. Then you're gonna increment um, num by one. Okay, num becomes one. This is still true. So you're gonna add num. So now num or sum is equal to one and then you add two and then you add three so at the end you get five thousand fifty so how many times will the following loop work so this is kind of tricky so you have x equals zero y equals five so you have x and then y. So this is going to work five times. Now, why it's going to work five times? Because it's zero right here. 
If it wasn't zero, then this would do four times. All right. And then the do while loop. Okay, so the do while loop is basically a variation of the while loop. So first you have the, the initialization, x equals one. You're basically doing the same thing, but this is basically the condition appears at the end of the loop. So the statements in the loop execute once. So this executes and then you check the condition. So even with a false condition, the code will run once. So. And then after this, make sure to put a semicolon. So we're gonna practice with this. Uh, make sure you practice with this a lot. So do. So this is going to, so this is going to already execute once, right? So this is going to already execute once. And then you're going to have x times x. So that's 9. And then you're going to check, or yeah, you're going to check. Okay, this is true. So, but then this is going to be false, right? This is false. This is false. So. Remember, do while loops, you're gonna have it um, execute once before, so you're gonna have a nine, and then it's gonna um, shut off. So the listen takeaways are going to be the code in the while loop runs as long as the condition is true. The increments and decrement operators are used to increase and decrease the value in the value of a variable by one. Java provides shorthand operators to perform mathematical operations on a variable. For example, x times 9 is written as x times equals 9. So x, so you don't have to write x here twice. And then the do while loop is just a variation to the while loop, but it's guaranteed to run at least once.